would like to ask Min Su. Um, the question is, what do you look out for when conducting due diligence on companies in China? Yeah, so um, first of all, thanks uh, for having me. Um, so thank you, uh, Pavel and B and PHBS for inviting me for the talk. Um, you know, I think it's also great to see and hear about everyone else's perspectives on pitch decks and uh, what goes on in the due diligence process. So it's, it's, enlightening, it's enlightening for me as well. Um, to answer your question, right, um, I think we look for similar things in um, the due diligence process as we do uh, in the other markets that we're active in, not just China. Um, and and uh, this also goes back to um, the sort of three areas that Bill was talking about earlier as well. Um, but there's a lot of, I think, um, metrics and uh, KPIs and uh, numbers that we can sort of look at that point to whether um, it is, uh, you know, to, to help us allow um, to make a educated decision on those three areas. And, you know, we look at everything from, you know, whether uh, th there's a clear problem that's being defined by data points, uh, market size, um, you know, a comparison uh, between different markets, um, across the world, uh, if it's a relatively new market or sector in that particular country, um, which certainly also uh, applies to China as well. Um, you know, clear value proposition, uh, evidence whether um, evidence that the value proposition exists, uh, whether through pilots or tests or case studies with clients and partners. Um, and if this can be quantified, uh, what sort of value proposition is it? Is it cost savings? Is it additional revenue? Is it operational efficiency for the clients? Um, what, what sort of urgent or key problem is being solved for the clients, right? Um, we also look at signs that the team understands um, both the problem and how the solution is going to be implemented to solve the problem, uh, which can also be related to uh, the go-to-market strategy, right? Is this going to be a bottom-up approach? Is this going to be a top-down approach, for example? Uh, is the team deeply knowledgeable about the space? Uh, do they have deep insights that maybe others uh, or other teams or the companies doing similar things may not have? Have they collected significant data points to support their thesis? Um, we also look at uh, positive signs regarding growth levers, right? NPS score, or, um, stickiness, uh, customer engagement level, et cetera. Uh, we look at market validation. Um, you know, uh, is it a scalable business model? Uh, is there a path to uh, building a sustainable business? Um, uh, you know, in terms of uh, maybe unit economics, if that's relevant for the company. Um, uh, is there a path to prof profitability? Uh, is, it, is, it, is that path clear and defined? Um, and if they're in a stage where traction also matters, we'd also look at traction as well, right? Um, and in regards to pitch decks, I, I, one tip I think I would give out uh, when, uh, you know, building these uh, decks for investors is investors want to know which KPIs are important, which KPIs actually matter, right? Um, so that, you know, that's something that the founder will be able to uh, elucidate on and enlighten the investors on as well, right? Is, is it GMV? Is it NPS? Is it customer activeness? Is it um, how deep uh, the company goes with each client, you know, contract terms, things like that? Um, so that's, I think, something that um, would be useful for founders to point out on their pitch decks as well, because sometimes uh, I think founders... Um, may uh, just flood the pitch decks with a lot of data. Um, and it's hard for the investors to know which data points to look at, which ones are important, which ones actually matter. So I think that is uh, something that um, uh, you might want to keep in mind as you build pitch decks. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that's a very long explanation. So basically you start off, you have to make sure that the, um, you have a clear um, value propositions. You have to make sure that problem you try to solve is a burning problem or not. Is it big? enough um, in the, the market and so on. And please make sure that the data or the number that you put in the pitch deck is relevant to your audience, right? All right. So um, the next question is, what kind of pitch decks get rejected immediately? Yeah, so this also goes back to what I was saying earlier. I, I don't think we have, um, I don't think as investors, we immediately uh, reject pitch decks. Um, we sometimes maybe ask um, founders to provide data or information that might be missing or that might that we might um, be interested in learning more about. Um, but 
you know, some, some usual suspects for why we may reject based on pitch decks might be, you know, there's no clear problem statement, right? What is the problem being solved? You know, if there's no, if, if we're not clear on um, what the problem is, then we don't know if it's a big enough market. We don't know if it's a big enough problem, if it's worth investing in. Um, you know, if there's no value proposition that is clearly defined, what's the point of the product? Um, how do we know this is going to scale? Um, if there's no easy uh, explanation for the product or the service, you know, what are we investing in, right? Um, if, it, if it takes us uh, more time to try to understand what the company does, um, then that is a, a clear sign that the investor may not be able to invest in the space or that company because they don't understand it. So there's a higher likelihood that they're just going to pass on the opportunity. Um, they could also be too optimistic in the decks, right? Um, if they're showing unrealistic growth uh, projections and it's not backed by data, um, it's maybe showing that the entrepreneur or the founding team is too naive or um, you know, they're not educated enough about the market uh, or the opportunity there. Um, you know, maybe they don't have a good understanding of the competition or the market. And that's something that investors would be wary and cautious about uh, when they look at pitch decks. Um, and again, I think something that some investors uh, might like better um, is uh, a data-driven approach, right, to maybe a go-to-market strategy or um, figuring out what the problem is, what the solution is. Uh, you know, I think uh, a lot of VCs and a lot of investors do like seeing data points when they're relevant. And so having this data-driven approach is more likely to get the investor interested because they want to learn more. Right. They want to verify that um, the data uh, sets and um, whether uh, this is a big enough opportunity for them to invest in. So, so yeah, I think, you know, those are things that we look at um, in a pitch deck, even when we're just sort of um, browsing through the pitch deck and maybe not taking a super close look, uh, we do look for these elements. All right. Okay. So thank you very much for your answer. That's very helpful for, for the young entrepreneurs here.